So this week we've got a special guest arriving. It's Queen Charlene, and uh, Ted at the moment has gone to pick her up from the airport and bring her back here. So I'm just doing her list of jobs for the week, and it's quite a lot to do. We've got two weeks before we open to the public, and because we've been so busy on renovating, and because it's been so wet and the weather's been so bad, now the sun's out, we can get a lot of the land done, which is jobs that Charlene really enjoys doing. So, um, you know, mowing the lawns, replacing the stone around the edging is all kind of quite basic jobs and um, should be quite easy to do. But this one, clear the ivy from the back of the building, that's going to be a huge job. Um, clearing the scrubland over the back. It's an area that I absolutely hate. And uh, it really needs to be cleared out. We want to buy some trees that we're going to plant in there. And um, if we buy some baby trees that will grow bigger and block that area off, that would be really nice. Um, there's other things like mowing the parkland. It may seem easy, but the tractor and the boyer, it takes a good five to six hours just doing the parkland. And because it's grown up so much with all the wet weather we've had, it might take quite a while longer. Um, and silly things like dishetry run, shopping for plants, repairing the pallet furniture, it's all stuff that we need to get done before we open for business, for before our first lot of guests arrive. So these are really important jobs, but with Charlene getting on and doing them, it means that me and Tay can carry on with the renovations. And a job that I really want to do is get that hallway finished. So we'll see when she gets here, see how much of this she's going to be able to get done this week. And fingers crossed, I can get the hallway finished in the meantime. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, see how she gets on. Charlene, what's the first job of the day? The first job of today is weeding the pot. I don't know why I talk that posh then. <laughs> and weeding path. Weeding path. Weeding path. <clears throat> Making it look all pretty for when people come and stir. Yeah. It's looking very good. You've done a very good job already. It's nearly all done. Nearly. Nearly. And then I've got all that to do there. When we created the garden the other year, I'm going to tidy all that up. And then I'm going to get all the weeds out the other paths and this really big courtyard well, all that needs doing as well cool yeah the audacity that they have to grow back though you know i know rude but it's a bit like you pick them up you turn around and they're back again don't tell me that because i've got to turn around now you can actually watch them grow <laughs> they grow so bloody fast right
so Charlene's uh, got off to a start already and uh, while she's cracking on I'm working on the hallway but it's been quite difficult I had to wait for Lee our electrician to finish everything because he was chasing the walls out and it meant that there was just dust everywhere so there's no point in me hanging curtains and things like that and uh, trying to sort it out because it's just thick dust so I need to go up and have a really good clean but in the meantime I need to ask Ted to do me a favour there's something I need him to do in there before I can really crack on with anything else and I've given him so many jobs lately <laughs> baby I'm talking about you baby what have I done now? <laughs> I need your help I want to get the hallway done yeah. and finish this week. So I need to go and clean everywhere, obviously, but there's a couple of bits that I really need your help on before I can continue. Right, which are? Um, the armoire that you kindly put in for me. Yeah. Um, I do need it um, modern, uh, modernised inside a bit. I need a shelf to be put in right. on the top and then I need another shelf on the bottom if you could do that for me. Right, okay. Um, and then You're the right. cabinet that I've refreshed. Yeah. There's a couple of them, the handles are missing from it. So right. um, I wonder if you could, but I have got a couple of spare drawers. Okay. That have got the handles on it. So if you could take them off of them and put them in the other one, would that be all right? Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you, baby. Alright. Use it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That wasn't so difficult. <laughs> Um, so I fixed these two shelves, these, the, sorry, these two drawers, so they're now just fixed items, so they just look like they're just drawers in there. Um, I've put the shelf in there, so you've got the shelf to, for, for whatever you need there. I'm just debating what to do. I want to put a decent shelf in here because knowing what people do, you talked about me then. With certain, <laughs> with certain <laughs> items, they are thrown in, dumped in. Thought I thought I'd have a nice sort of just a, a basic shelf in there, but I think I've got to do something a little bit more substantial. Just so it's it's it. so you want a shelf in the bottom there, and then you'll have this space here and this space here if you want. It. And that should be about right. So this is all fixed in the place now. So. It's not going anywhere. Nice and nice and secure. And then it's just for what it is, a utility cupboard, but it looks rather posh. A posh utility cupboard. Cool. So you're gonna finish that off. Yeah, carry I've on got to finish this here. Then, then I've got to do a um, couple of little actions on here. And that's me done in here, yes? Yes. You don't need anything else in no. here. No. Um, I do want to put some pictures up. It's fine, okay. So I'm going to well, go and have a look through all their pictures. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of screws already. A couple already. of screws in the wall. There's a, there's, shall we uh, take the 17th century? Oh no, leave that because I was going to get a little hanging thing for it. What, over the chair? So when somebody bumps their head? Okay, yeah, maybe not then. <laughs> you can put it somewhere, put it somewhere else. I love this, this here. Way well, that goes in there, that's mortise and tenoned in there and then pegged. That's yeah. just quality, that's just beautiful. Um, so, yeah, but you also want curtain rail up, don't you? Yes. So, we need to do that as and when we're at a position, you're in a position to clear and start putting yeah. pictures up, we put curtain rail up, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, let me, while I've got. I think I need to do a bit dusting. Alright, what's wrong with that? <laughs> right, you, you people keep writing their names in it. You know, uh, guest was here.
So while Ted's working on the wardrobe, I've just been looking at old pictures. We've got so many old pictures that were up in the loft that I'd like to utilise in here. And if not the picture, then some of the frames. There's some which are really ornate frames. Oh, Sorry, look baby. at those. They look nice, don't they? I like those. I like these, uh, the gold ones. Do you? Yeah, I really like the pictures. Are they photographs of paintings? The paintings, they're fantastic. They're the ones that John gave us. These are really nice. These are going go in here and in the rooms. I love them. Really love them, yeah. It's exactly what I think. I just, I the think we is, don't like, do enough with pictures. Look, there's one over here that's got oh, such these. a beautiful frame. But these are yeah. just wonderful. Yeah, the frame. I'm sure we can find a picture. You know, picture. these paintings here are absolutely gorgeous. This one's quite damaged, but which is a shame. But, yeah. Um, but I still think. I wonder if you uh, know together. I think they'd go. I I love them because you've got a ruin here. Some little houses, but yeah, I just no, think they're beautiful. And they're I think, really well, nice, you know, we found that most of them here. Some of them, their friend John gave us. Why not utilise them? Oh, I think absolutely, 100%. These pictures, not necessarily the frames, but the pictures I think are beautiful. Yeah. And you've got sort of goldy things which may work in there. Yeah. We need to start putting pictures everywhere. Yeah. Because I just think pictures make a place. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, sorry, I'm in your way. I'm going to get out of your way. It's all right, I'm only fiddling about with bits of wood as usual. Yeah. So while we leave Ted um, with his head in a wardrobe, I'm going to go up to the attic because there's more pictures up in the attic, but there's also, I've got so much fabric, and there's a pair of curtains that I want for this window here. And I want them quite big, and I'm sure our friend John gave us a load of curtains a while back, and I'm sure they're up in the attic, so let's take, go up and take a look. Baby, if you're not back in about half an hour, <laughs> I'll send a search party. <laughs> See you soon. Now, all of these sacks here and these sacks here are filled with fabric. What I'd really love to do is get a storage cabinet up here that I can put all my fabric in and actually see what I've got because I've got so much stuff here. I just don't know what's in these bags anymore. Now, immediately I can see what I'm looking for. I remembered John giving us these. Now, there's actually quite a few of them and I'm really not sure whether I should be using them because I only need one in the hallway. And I'm sure if I look carefully, there are three or four of these that might actually go into apartment four because they are huge. They are so full. They've got blackouts, um, lining in them already. They're so heavy, really heavy. But as you can see, they're really long. And I think they would actually be perfect in apartment four however what i am going to do is i'm going to hang one of them in the hallway so we can have the hallway finished for now and then if i decide that i find the others and i can use them in apartment four i can always swap them over for a different pair of curtains because i don't need anything too lavish in the hallway really i'm going to take these down give them an iron and um and i think these can go in the hallway for now so uh, let's do that and then hopefully I'll be able to sort this lot out, find some other fabric that I can swap with. Ooh. Right, cupboard upstairs, the fuse board cupboard is all done. So you've got a shelf in the bottom, you've got a shelf underneath the thing, so you can fill it up with whatever you like. <laughs> Go bonkers. You can go bonkers. Um, I've just got to do your little, uh, you know, multiple drawer cabinet. I've just got to put the handles on the drawers. And that's me done until you want me for curtain round and pictures, yes? Cool. Thank you, baby. No worries. Mm -hmm.
So that's great. I can now go up and uh, get started in there at last. Hopefully by the end of this week we'll have, uh, have it finished. It should be great. Anyway, better get on. So these are the drawers that, that came out of the, the extra drawers, if you like. Um, and they've got, so they've all got these lovely little wooden handles on them. Nice little turned handle. Yeah, I'm just nicking them off the extra drawers to put in the drawers we've got because we were missing some. And it was like Lisa painstakingly worked out what drawer fit in where and then had to sand them down to make them fit and all this sort of thing. So what she's got. So I've taken the knob off and, uh, and I'm just trying to sand it down a bit. But that is a lovely little turned thing. It's been turned on a lathe. Probably, I don't know if it's been hand turned, but I would love, if I ever get any money, I would absolutely love a lathe. Don't have to be a big one, just a nice thing. So you can do things like that. And finials for the end of, you know, for bed posts and all that sort of thing. To be able to turn things like that, to be able to learn how to do that. Oh God, I'd love to do that. In my dotage. That goes in there lovely like that, you see. Turn that in, spot the glue. Okay. going to be doing some work around the side of the shuttle that's very rarely seen um, and the Countess Lisa is going to instruct me on which area she would like to be done first. So me and Ted took this down last time, it's all grown back, the audacity, so that might be on the list. Oh it's quite overgrown here, what do you think? 
Ja. So this is the, the rear entrance of the chateau and there's steps as you can see Charlene going up to the back door and I would really like to reinstate this back entrance and clear all this and then be able to work on the stonework here and the stone steps going up. At the moment you can't even see really where the steps are. So I think it'd be really good if we could clear this bit that's the royal wee because I've got to go and work on the hallway while. Well, I can be the royal wee, Queen Charlene. <laughs> but yeah, if you could start getting all of this off. Nearly done. Right up to the window. Um, yeah. If you do the lower sections, because I think the lower sections, by getting the lower sections off, I think the top sections will then come off a lot easier. Yeah, once So again. if you concentrate on the lower sections, because I don't want you up ladders or anything on your own and clear all this area we then if we look further down oh, I actually love this part of the building um, you know what I really like? yeah I really like this bit it looks like water's been on it doesn't it? it's yeah. a but, but why? there's nothing unless a Something's been bricked up and something's come out of it at some point. You can't tell until you get the ivy off, so no. you never know what we might find today. It looks like the same um, as in the tea room where they used to tip the water out and it used to come Where's out onto water? a stone and then. Yeah. But you've also got this bit down here. Trough. and there's like a pipe coming out there so maybe it was like waste water to feed the animals you just don't know what's going to be under here do you at all and some of this look how thick that is Some, strength. <laughs> <laughs> some of the roots are just so thick yeah. and so embedded it's going to take quite a lot but um yeah this all needs to come off as much as i absolutely adore the ivy once it gets up to the roof that it starts then to affect the roof and it embeds into the stone eats into it and there's the lime perish the lime mortar perish and it just comes out like and then you need to repoint your whole chat off. Do you know? Don't blame me though. That is one thing. When we get to the stage that we can actually mortar the entire outside of the building, which will probably take me about a year to do, uh -huh. it would be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah. To have all this pointed and looking beautiful again. And uh, you remember this? This is the, uh, the little building that we can't, still can't get into. We will one day. And this, I don't know if you can see, there's actually a window here. Oh, there's one up there. Yeah, that's covered with ivy. That is actually the window for apartment four. Is it? So that desperately needs to come down um, because that's completely blocking any light going into apartment four. Um, you can see there's another little window oh, over there, here. Yeah. Um, that window's for the laundry room. And there's another window down there. That's for the laundry room as well, oh. there. Um, oh. So yeah, it's quite interesting looking from the back. But it's quite interesting looking from this view because this, like Charlene said, this is a, a view of the chateau that we don't really very often see. And um, you know, if I step back here and see the length of it, I, you can't really see the length of it because it goes around in a slight curve. So you can't see the end of it, can you? No. But um, yeah, I actually love the view from this side. Yeah, I do. I love this this side of the building. Do you remember when they were doing the roof? Yeah. Is it tinker, is it? Yeah. Um, and when he was hanging over there. Yeah. 
the chimney at the top. Yeah, do you yeah, remember that? that? Throat, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't watch when he was doing that. I just couldn't watch. Well, we were all on like yeah. nervous for him, and I mean, we know they're not going to show it on telly like him falling off. But... <laughs> right, so um, task for today then. Get in the ivy off. Ivy removal time. So I'm going to put a time lapse up for you. Okay. And uh, we'll see how you get on. But it'll be good to get all this off. So if you're going to look at um, to buy a property in France, which a lot of air subscribers message us and say they're wanting to do this sort of thing, it's always a good point to make that if the building is covered in ivy, just be aware that when you take that ivy off, there may be problems behind it. Now, this isn't a major problem. There's a crack here in the wall. What they say is if you can get your fist in it, that's when you need to worry. Any other crack smaller than that, it's not a problem but it's just something to look out for that the ivy may look amazing on the side of the walls it's actually doing a lot of damage but it's actually hiding a lot of things behind it so just be aware okay so i'm going to leave you to your time lapse and i'll come back and see you little i'll bring you a cup of tea thank you So the hallway's almost finished. Just a few finishing touches to do, clean up, and uh, yeah. I've seen it. I've been up there. I've been Have busy. I've been busy. <laughs> anyway, we've just been told by Charlene that she's finished down the back here, getting the oh ivy off me. the lowest section of the wall. So uh, yeah, let's go take a look. Oh, look at that! Wow. I oh, know. Oh my God. It kind of, uh, it's a bit scary. It is a bit scary. Because it no longer hides anything. No. <laughs> Goodness me. Wow, you've worked bloody hard. You see, that obviously was bigger. That's the way it was a doorway. Well, this is one of the things I wanted to show you. I don't know if you knew about this. Yeah. Because obviously that's the threshold stone. Yeah. And you've got the big yeah. stones at the side. It's the doorway. So it's been made into a window. They've put a concrete plinth in. Yeah, it's a doorway. And I'm convinced that there used to be stairs down because you can see where they they fixed the mortar. Yeah, it's it's definitely a doorway, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you know, it's an ancient doorway as well because of the top stone. This is the this is the interesting thing. This water's come out of here because yeah. this has all been this is where water something here drained out of there. Mm because of the shape of that. There's another one over there. There's a wee pipe out of there. No, there's another stone Yeah, right I there. know, well that's where, that is where the stone is that Jean-Pierre told the tea us. Stone. He said there used to be a well over here. Um, yeah. However, you have done an outstanding job to get all the crap off this lower level. All you've got to do now is get on a ladder and get the rest of it. Yeah, it should take five minutes. <laughs> what do you want me to do in the afternoon? <laughs> I swear to God, every piece of ivy you see on the floor, I've touched every little centimetre oh. of it. Oh. 
But this is also a big concern. Is <laughs> you know they tried to shore it up with concrete, yeah, they? but yeah. it's. So this all needs rebuilding, doesn't it? You can see it's, it's bored out, yeah. and if you actually look on the inside, the steps have started to drop. Yeah. You can see it here, look, it's all coming out. out. Yeah, they're all coming away, aren't they? The whole thing needs rebuilding. Yeah. There you go, and they're nice and good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's. So good start to the week. You've done amazingly well. I know. <laughs> Brilliant work. And uh, yeah, and the hallway's really coming along, isn't it? It looks yeah, good. Yeah. Not to uh, mention what you've been working on, but we'll talk about that another time. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. So come back on Monday. We we'll get the days right this time. Come back on Monday and see the finish of the hallway and how Charlene gets on with the rest of her list. Right. So we've got some big thanks to say for the buy me a coffee. Uh, pledge from Richard Ellison and Kim Ward. Thank you so much. Gratefully received. And Kathy Hutchinson and Curly Whirly. <laughs> Curly Whirly. <laughs> and uh, a big thank you to Seren and Vida for your donation. Thank you so much. We're going to be showing you in a couple of weeks what that big donation has actually bought. We love um, you to bits. But if you'd like to you. buy us a coffee, leave us a tip, then the link is in the description. Or if you'd like to join us on our Patreon page and see all the behind the scenes, all the extra footage, and Zoom chats will be in Ted. Who could want more? The link is in the description. Oh, can I say one more thing? Yep. Like and subscribe. <laughs> it doesn't cost a thing. <laughs> See you all See you Monday. on Monday. Take care, everyone. See you Bye later. Now. Bye. Bye. Right, let's go and cross your things off the list. Wee. Go. All the lines and weird the courtyard. <laughs> Clear the ivy. Uh, the shuttering run. I've only got four days left. How am I going to get all that in?